Mark Timothy Ray Brown's story has fascinated researchers and doctors who are trying to find an HIV cure. And they say that second possible cure announced this week likely would not have happened without the lessons they learned from Brown, the first patient. I'm told that I give people a lot of hope. Timothy Ray Brown has been HIV free for 12 years. He was diagnosed with the virus in 1995 and was expected to live only a few years. Then he faced another hurdle, leukemia. Doctors decided to give him a stem cell transplant from a donor who was naturally immune to HIV, as about 1% of Caucasian people are. It worked. The virus vanished. I think that my story is important because it means that HIV can be cured and um, in science, every, er, um, everything's possible. Now, a London man appears to have had the same experience, a second possible cure. Doctors at Fred Hutch in Seattle say the two cases are helping accelerate their understanding of how to reverse the virus in others. That tells us really that it can be done, so a cure can be accomplished in HIV. Now we have to figure out how can it be made more feasible and more doable with less uh, dangerous side effects. It's very important that people don't think that this is suddenly the cure, the cure. Um, this is one cure. Um, I, I mean, I'm a, an example of one person who has been cured of HIV. It doesn't mean that um, that this is uh, that uh, everybody can be cured um, of this method. Brown now lives in Palm Springs and occasionally visits Seattle to check in with doctors and share his story, a message of hope which motivates ongoing research. I'm hoping that one day, um, one day, uh, there will be cures for everyone, no matter where they're from or no matter what, what gender they are, what race they are. A lot of people in the, in the medical community know Brown as the Berlin patient. That's where he once lived. He chose to stay anonymous at first, but later revealed his identity because he wanted to put a face to this story to show people that he was living a full, healthy life after once receiving a devastating diagnosis. Doctors say they're still years away from a cure that would work among several patients, but these two cases are getting them closer. Back to you guys.